Cataclysmo is fairly good about guiding new players through tutorial levels, but there are a lot of mechanics to figure out the more you play. Get ahead of the curve and optimize your playthrough with these tips and tricks you need to know to survive in Cataclysmo. She listened to my message, or pretended to listen. It didn't matter. She knew what to do. Building is instant, so always pause when you build anything, including walls, defenses, and citizen buildings. You want all the time you can get before night falls, so pausing is your best friend. When your game is paused, you're actually able to delete essential structures holding up entire buildings and replace them without the whole thing coming down. And the best part, when the horde comes and your walls are broken down, you can actually pause to build a secondary wall as long as it's a few blocks away from the enemies. Exploration is just as important as building out your defenses. Oftentimes you can come across salvage allowing you to gain a ton of wood, stone, minerals, and even oxygen, which can be vital for upgrade costs to reach the next prosperity level or build something important. When you explore, be sure to recycle your materials you use to get across the mist so you can use all the materials you've collected. Oxygen may be one of the most important resources to maintain in Cataclysmo. Unlike stone or wood, you not only have to worry about harvesting it, but also keeping production rate higher than your upkeep costs. All of your units and several buildings will all consume a set amount of oxygen every minute. If you don't outpace this upkeep by creating more air filters, you'll begin losing your entire stored supply, which can hamper your ability to train new units, build, and purchase upgrades. Cataclysmo expects you to build your walls high for added defensive bonuses, and there's no reason the same can't go for your citizen homes too. Shacks and homesteads have large flat spots on top you can use to create space to stack on more housing units or air filters by organizing groups of them side by side. So as long as you leave spaces to build stairs down, you can keep stacking more on top if there isn't a lot of room in your base to expand. Your units will deal optimal damage either at a low height, 0 to 4 meters off the ground, or high, 5 plus meters off the ground. And your defensive walls should account for both of these. Early on, try to create sections where both unit types have a place to stay where they deal the most amount of damage. And utilize windows once you reach prosperity level 2 so your walls can be fortified regardless of how high up your units are. If you're trying to make tall towers to hit the 10 plus height bonus and need a quick staircase to reach that high, place a column of stone half arches and alternate each piece in a clockwise direction. On top of each arch that sticks out from the central column, place a straight stone chair, the one with the block attached to the end, then keep rotating the stair pieces on each arch to form a spiral. It costs more stone, of course, but it can go much higher than just stacking on blocks on top of each other. At first glance, it may seem like a waste to destroy scenery ruins when you can build off of them to fortify your own defenses. However, scenery pieces cannot be recycled even when you build into them and can hamper you later on if you need to make a quick adjustment to your defensive layout. It's often better to quickly flatten any ruins you plan to make a lasting defensive wall out of, but keep their layout in mind for ideas when creating your own walls. Other ruins you find when exploring can still be taken advantage of for quick things like destroying brood nests and don't necessarily need to be remade. If you're struggling to connect high walls, air filters, or other buildings to the ground, you can create a large spiral staircase pretty quickly and easily. Look for a curved stone stair piece with an adjacent block, place it, then rotate once to place the next stairs on the first block. You can do this three times with stone pieces and another three with wood on top before you run out of support. Did we miss any essential tips you need to know before jumping into Cataclysmo? Let us know. For more guides and Cataclysmo strategies, stay right here at IGN.